Hi guys, so today we'll be I'll be make, teaching you how to make these Loom Bam Banana Charms and if you don't like it then tough, go on to another video but there will be the bananas I'll be making so um, you will need 15 yellow bands and 2 black bands and at the end I'm going to say some thank yous and you will need your hook so in any staggered configuration will be fine because we're going to be using the side bits so it doesn't matter at all so you're going to start right at the top of your loom over here and you're going to put a single black band on now we'll be getting three yellow bands because two bands are too weak and you're going to put them on here to here making sure they're straight as possible so when you come to do your little hooking process you'll be there Again, another three yellow bands on here. You don't need your hook yet, by the way, so. And stretch. Another three, and continue to run out of yellow bands. You can make it how long you want, just as long as you're like, using three yellow bands, so. Um, yeah. Let me just get mine perfect. Okay. Um, just got two more sets to do. If you're done, then pause the video, please, and just like wait. Because I am quite. I was quite slow at this, and now I've sort of picked up the pace, but ever so vaguely. So, yeah. I will be making other videos for like fruit and stuff. Okay, so your loom should look like this. Now, you'll be taking your other black bands. And we'll cap it on four, three to four times, depending on how you feel it should go. So three. I'm going to have to do four because I've got quite a big band there. Okay, so once you're done, you will go in the band, like whatever it's called. And you're going to hold your cap band and you're going to make a cry shape I suppose you could put it and then you're gonna hook it so it should look like that if anything if not then stop the video and find out where you've gone wrong um, get the other three and hook it I can't now when I was lose, um, learning loom bands and how to make the tear type things I found it really hard and now it's like one of my favourite objects to like do in loom bands sounds a bit weird but i'm sorry it just does and same with this one and i guess you just keep going wait no don't because i gotta stop you from it and hook a couple of times one of my bands have snapped and it's not a bigger deal because i've done that and the bot it, it was the bottom one when I had to get it off the cat band and to be honest with you it actually came out alright okay okay so you stop here so you should have this now what you do is you do the same again with the black band hook it off like so so let me just higher it up a bit so my hook can actually grab it you're gonna hook it off the band and then you're gonna Grab, swoop down and grab this one off the peg, okay? Now this is how we make the thing I suppose. You grab the second one and you pull it over. So hopefully you can see that it's gone over. And tug to make it really, really tight. And you should have your charm like that. Now it's time to unhook it. So you unhook it like so. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. That's my brother and recording. <laughs> okay. Um, and unhook it. And once you unhooked it, just wait there a second, I guess, because I'm not quite done. So yeah. So should look like that. Let's 
and you should have a banana. Now I have got a couple of thank yous to give out for like helping me in the past. Um, this is when I was a beginner, so so this is my cat charm. I'm very proud, except its whisker looks like a moustache, I guess. Um, same goes for the anchor bird. I think this was made by mummies, so thank you for them. Same again, made by mummies, flower. And all first, it came out brilliant, and the bit where you had to unhook it looked really bad. There's one downfall. Um, to the person who made this owl charm type thing, I made two and both times they failed. Bottom half came out great, top half looks like it's just had a bad hair day and needs to go to the hairdresser. So, um, 